What's up Spider-Man friends, how y'all doing? I'm Cloudy Bricks and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys these LEGO Spider-Man sets that have officially been revealed. Now after seeing one of the sets, I've been super shocked because I was very shocked that one of the sets are actually based off on the movie. And yeah, so I don't know what else to say, but if I show you guys the sets, there are actually some of them are actually inspired from this Far From Home and the Spider-Man Homecoming movie, so yeah. So let's talk about the set. First off we have is the LEGO Spider-Man Far From Home 4 Plus Junior set. Now if I show you guys the photo, this is how the set looks like. And as you can see, this set features Nick Fury, Spider-Man and Mysterio. Now for the Mysterio minifigure, I think it looks very great and looks 100% most accurate to the one for the movie, so yeah. We also got a new Spider-Man Far From Home suit which is the red and black one and I'm glad that the LEGO has finally added a Spider-Man minifigure in the set. We also got a LEGO Nick Fury which is so cool and as you can see that the minifigure I think looks almost accurate from the one in some of the Avengers movies and I'm glad they also include some features like a drone and a car but I think the great thing about the set is the minifigures. The reason why I say this is because we have actually got a LEGO Spider-Man Far From Home set I mean a suit by the way. Now let's take a look at another LEGO Spider-Man set that is inspired from the Spider-Man Homecoming movie which is actually the first MCU Marvel movie, I mean first Spider-Man Marvel movie. Now if you take a look at the set, this is very very interesting. Now the, the reason why I say this is because you can see that the shocking part is that about this set we have a LEGO Spider-Man black and gold set. Now I'm not sure whether this scene is going, this set is going to be shown in the movie because there might be a chance that we might see Peter Parker in the movie wearing the black and white suit. Now another cool thing is that we also get a Lego Vulture and I think it looks almost 100% accurate from the movie because I mean not almost but I think he looks perfect and he even the wings, the, the design of the one from the scene where he flies over to some airplane in the scene. Now the only thing which I'm not sure why this thing's feature is a Lego Spider-Man drone. You can see that I think the colors looks very great, but I still don't know why they featured this. Maybe because this suit and the drone might be featured in the movie. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Now moving on, we have another final final set which we're going to talk about is my favorite of all, which I might buy <laughs> in a Lego shop. And this is the Lego Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop. Now I not sh I am not sure about this set because this set has four minifigures we got Spiderman in his integrated suit MJ Dr. Strange which is a very awesome because you can see that he looks very different and also I love how he looks like right now because I think he looks perfect he looks 100% accurate from the MCU movie and even the cake looks just perfect as well you also got Lego Wong and uh, that is very surprising because I didn't know that it's actually going to be in the movie because we do know that in the Shang-Chi trailer he was actually fighting with the Abomination which is a very big surprise and now that the set has been revealed, we do know that Wong is going to be the movie. You also can see that the corner of the box, we did see uh, Spider-Man wearing the suit. And I think that looks awesome because we can see how he's going to wear in the suit in the movie. Because we do know that in the Spider-Man Far From Home movie, we did get some boxes of Spider-Man wearing the black and red suit. So just like the one in the box right here. So um yeah, that is all I have to say about the set. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.